down for what? What's up guys, bringing you a little update here with the uh, frag tank, not going to make it long. Uh, got this little pump in here for right now, just to keep the water moving. Uh, got the uh, AquaClear 70 running with the, um, the established media, and I got a bag of carbon mixed with some GFO, not a whole lot of GFO. Got the light in, I actually went into, I was going to get the same Reef Breeders light that's on, well you can't see it, but that's on the big tank. Then I saw this one by uh, Mars Aqua. I'm not gonna be able to see the tag, so I figured I'll give this one a shot. Um, why not? So uh, gonna try that light there. It's got the same spectrums and everything as the uh, Reef Breeder, so we'll see what's up. And I got a cranky kid in the background. Um, I'm gonna be moving that pump out. That's my salt mixing pump, but I just got it in here, like I said, to keep the water moving around. I'm going to be putting a WP-10 either on this side or the other side or right in the middle of the back wall. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I'm going to take the WP-10 that's out of the big tank in this corner right here. This is the WP-10 um, hitting the back of the tank to... Uh, God, I should have turned the lights on on this tank. But that WP-10 shoots the... Uh, goes down the back of my rock work in the big tank. Um, but I'm going to put a WP-40 back here and um, take this... 10 out and put it into the 40 breeder. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking if I'm going to run a sump because some of you clever guys did realize that I got three stand pipes here. The middle one, right, let's see if we can get there. there we go. The middle one is going to be the return line, and uh, those two are going to be the drain. One's going to be an emergency drain, and the other one's going to be the primary drain, and then the center is going to be the return eventually. Um, I have no plans right now. You know, I'm in no rush to start running a sump on this tank. I'm going to be happy enough with uh, the AquaClear 70 for a while. I don't really plan on stocking a lot of fish. It's going to be mostly coral. So I think the uh, AquaClear 70 will be uh, sufficient enough. I had to modify the crap out of this little canopy. I had to notch it all out for this thing. <laughs> but uh, so far, I mean, I like the light. We'll see how it does with corals. I'm going to move some GSP in here today. I got a couple of the Tyree toadstools I'm going to move in here today and uh, see how those start doing um, along with probably gonna pull this uh, WP-10 out and uh, put it over here on the 40 breeder I got two new pumps coming for the big boy here I got um, two Jabo RW-15s coming in which I guess are like the upgrade of the uh, WP-40s this WP-40 here is um, it's like it's me it's this is my oldest WP-40 this is the original version um, that Jable came out with. I've had it for, I want to say about two years now, and it's just it's just making a loud noise now, kind of like uh, what the old MPs do when they start getting worn out. They just kind of start going rah. So uh, that's what this one's starting to do now. It's kind of it's kind of loud actually. Actually, it's pretty loud now. Right now, it actually doesn't sound too bad. But if you just have it on uh, just on the high mode right now, it's in wave mode. But when it's on high mode and it's just spinning, it's really loud. The other two are doing really good. I've had these ones for about a year. I don't even know why I'm trying to show you that because <laughs> it's dark. I can see inside the tank just fine. You guys can't. But anyways, that's what's up with the uh, the frag tank. Gonna move some stuff into it today and uh, get that power head moved over so I can make some salt and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'll be bringing a review on the uh, RW15s as well. I'm pretty excited for those. I hear they're supposed to be great. So uh, all right, guys, later.